Hey everyone, I want to start off with an apology. I disappeared for a long time. I had some things that I needed to deal with, and I decided that the internet probably wasn't the best place to do that. I hope you can forgive me. Since I've been gone for, what, a month? A month and a half? A period of time longer than allowed, without good reason, by the contract established between content creator and content consumer. <sighs> I don't know either. Megan was talking and talking and I got confused. I think what she meant was that I was being unfair to you, my viewers, by not giving you any updates. So here I am. And let me tell you, I have some big updates. I have a list of things that I need to catch you up on, courtesy of Megan. So let's start with the obvious. What have I been doing, aside from avoiding cameras, social media, and everyone, since I last posted a video? Well, I got a job landscaping. Commencement and everything kind of helped me realize that I'm an adult now, so I probably shouldn't be relying on my dad for money. And since I'm moving out at the end of August, now seemed as good a time as any to start. You know, collect some spending money, buy my textbook so I at least feel like I'm contributing to my education. And that segues nicely into the next topic on this list. You'll probably be interested in learning what I'll be doing next year now that I'm a high school graduate. Short answer? I'm getting out of here. I need a new start someplace without so many memories. I'm trying to be a better person, and it'll be a lot harder to do that if I stay here where everyone knew the old me, instead of moving to a new place where no one has any expectations for who I am. I'm moving to Ottawa, the nation's capital, and studying criminology and criminal justice with a specialization in law. I guess the apple doesn't fall so far from the tree. My dad would have preferred me to do commerce or some other business program, but that's really just not for me. Honestly, I think he's just happy I'm doing something lawyery, even if its benefits aren't as lucrative as he would see fitting. The only thing I'm not excited about the move is that Megan's staying here. She's taking a year off to work, and she's got this really cool job that she's really excited about starting, so that's good for her. Honestly, I'm more worried about me trying to cope without her. She's always kind of been my foundation, so... It'll be weird. Speaking of Megan, she and Curtis are officially dating. She's a little bit worried about what's going to happen come September when he moves to Kingston to study at Queen's, but that's really not for me to speculate about, especially on the internet. Britt's happy now that she's unequivocally single. I think she was getting tired of all the drama that seemed to surround her, so she's taken a few people out of her life and seems to have a more balanced group of friends now. She's going into grade 11, and I'm terrified of what she's going to get herself into without me around. Hudson is being Hudson. He's either taking a year off to travel somewhere or doing a music program. I'm really not sure. Ever since he and Britt had their spat, he's kind of been avoiding us. It seems to be a good thing for Britt, so I guess that makes it a good thing for me? I know this isn't the stuff that you guys want to hear about. You want to hear about what happened after the last video that Megan uploaded without my consent. Well, I was angry. Really angry. I didn't talk to Megan for almost an entire week after that. I kind of felt like she'd betrayed my trust by going behind my back and posting that. But then Britt pointed out that maybe I didn't even have a reason to be angry, because I hadn't watched the video yet. So I did. And then I watched it again. And again. And again. And then I lost count, but I'm pretty sure I watched it a couple times after that. And of course, then Megan explained to me her side of things, which was enlightening. His video opened my eyes a bit. I think it forced me to admit to myself that I wasn't the only one that had been wronged by the whole situation, and that maybe I'd been a little bit unfair to James. Maybe? He wanted to talk, so we met up and we talked. It wasn't as painful as I was expecting it to be, so that's good. He gave his apology, and I may or may not have admitted to being a little bit wrong myself. Basically, we walked away from that conversation on neutral terms. Before I go any further, I want to talk about something that I've really learned to value over the last couple months since I started this whole vlog business. Privacy. I've always been a fairly private person, but with this thing, I've had to be a lot more open. Obviously, the stories I've recounted have been shaded by personal feelings, and probably more than a little biased, but there's still a lot of truth in there. And while I haven't talked about every aspect of my life, I have discussed a lot of major events. I know that I've been pretty open about sharing my feelings on pretty much any subject that comes up. I've had no problem calling people stupid or a cock alarm or any other variety of names. But recently I've realized that the internet is forever and some of the things I've said might not be appropriate. So, as a result of this realization, I'm going to be much more selective about what I say. 
And for you, that means I probably won't be divulging in all of the details that you guys want to hear. But back to my... I don't know what to call it. I would call it an epic romance, except it really wasn't that epic. Sure it was. I thought you said if I let you stay, you would stay quiet. Oh, right. He just mimed, zipping his lips shut, locking them with a the key, and throwing the key at my face. I'm willing to bet that doesn't last till the end of the video. What are we betting? Do you see what I have to deal with? Hey, get off my bench. I'm trying to film the video. Make me. I'm going to go turn the camera off.